Hello and welcome to our Binance tutorial once again. In this Binance series, we are going to be covering all what you need to know about Binance. And in today's tutorial, I am going to be helping you understand the Binance interface on the mobile app. A lot of people are new to Binance and when they come to Binance, when they download the Binance app, they usually don't understand the Binance interface. I faced that when I first started using Binance, I downloaded the app and it looked really complicated for me. I was using Luno before and Luno was pretty straightforward but coming to Binance it looked more complicated for me but over time I got to understand the Binance interface so I would like to solve that problem for you today. So I'm going to be helping you understand what the Binance interface is all about, what you see, where you need to go and what everything means on the Binance interface. So first of all after logging into your Binance, the first thing you see is the home. This is the home interface where you see everything you can do on Binance. Everything you can do on Binance is actually on this home page. So from the home interface as you can see on my screen, at the middle of the screen you can see deposit, referral, margin trading, launchpad, savings, liquid swap, convert and more. So from this home page, from the middle of my screen as you can see, you can do a lot of things here. And as you can see also here, you can see deposit in error, bank transfer, but um, cryptocurrencies have been banned in Nigeria, so you cannot currently do bank transfer. What you can do is by the right is peer-to-peer -peer trading, which is the P2P trading you can see here. Then scrolling down, we can see ranking lists. This shows a list of cryptocurrency. Hot is the cryptocurrency that are being traded mostly currently. Gainers are the cryptocurrency that are doing well in the market. As you can see, these are the highest baga usdt that's the one that is doing that's the one that is gaining most in exchange right now then we can see losers these are the cryptocurrencies that are not doing well currently then the 24 hour volume shows us um the cryptocurrencies that have been traded most for the last 24 hours so that is just what that ranking list is all about so in the middle of my screen now you can also see some prices of some cryptocurrency currently trading in the markets now those are some of the hottest cryptocurrencies being traded in the market so that's just an overview from the home interface so from the home interface also at the top left where you see the um, the human image that is your account so you can just click that and go to your profile and to show you the your profile and everything you need to know so this is my profile is being verified that is my ID at the top my referral code and from here I can also do some things I can see my notification my gift card security settings from here and I can also log out from here as you can see so um, I'll just exit this place okay before I exit at the top right you can see that microphone button there you can talk to um, one of their representatives if you have any problem if you need any help they can help you so you can just click that and that in looking like the moon there i can change from the daytime interface to night interface and my screen will go dark so as you can see i have changed to the night interface and i can change back to the daytime interface so that's that for that so going back to the home page um, at the right top corner, you can see where it's written 77 there. Those are my notifications. So you can click it to see notifications on your Binance. And the thing at the middle at the top right corner is for scanning. You can use it to scan barcodes on Binance. So you can see that scan QR code. Then you can also see the search button where you can search for anything like when Dodge came out, um, when Dodge came out the other time, I was hearing of Dodge, but I didn't know. I wasn't sure if it was on Binance yet, so I just came and I searched for Dodge. So I just came and I searched for Dodge. That's why you can see my search histories. You can see my search history. I searched for Shiba one time. When Shiba came out, I was hearing of it, so I searched for it and I found it. It was on Binance. When Dodge also came out, I searched for Dodge. That is when that's why it's on my search history. I searched for Boga one time also when those um, currencies, when those coins just came out recently. So that's that for the home page interface. 
so after that the next is the market and all the market just shows you is the current prices the current market price of the cryptocurrencies in the market now these are my favorite cryptocurrencies so when i log in on binance i can just come to market and my favorite cryptocurrencies will show first so i can know um, the prices of my favorite cryptocurrency these are the cryptocurrencies i trade most so i put them in my favorite so that whenever i come i can easily see the prices of the cryptocurrency i've invested my money in um so i've clicked btc these are the current prices of um btc against other currency you can see the current price of btc against ethereum if i click bnb which is the binance app you can see the prices of other cryptocurrency against um, the BNB. If I click fiat, I will see the normal fiat currencies. As you can see, USDT. USDT is imitating the normal US dollar fiat currency. So these are the prices of cryptocurrencies against um, fiat. So you can click the fiat you want. Um, USDT is currently clicked. I can click BUSD. All these are stable coins stable coins imitating normal fiat currencies so you can see other fiat currency the, you can see the euro you can see the euro you can see um the pounds great bit great britain pounds so let's click that so um great britain pounds only great britain pounds so um you can see the cryptocurrencies yes so we can see the crypto the prices of cryptocurrencies against the great britain pounds fiat so let's click the euros and see the prices of cryptocurrency so you can see the prices of cryptocurrency against the euro so um that's that for um the spot market so when you come to market there are three type of market on binance sorry i forgot to mention that the spot market the futures and the zone so the spot market is the normal trading market where um, most people trade you come and buy and keep you can use it for scalping you can use it to buy bulk and keep and when it rises you sell the futures market is different um, the futures market is, uh, is, an, is an entire tutorial on its own it's not like the spot market where you can just buy cryptocurrency and keep and whenever it goes up and whenever you're ready to sell you sell no the futures market like you said futures is that you stick a price you is when you buy cryptocurrency and predict a future price for it and if you are if your prediction is right you make a lot of money but if your prediction is wrong you lose all your money so that's how the sports market is different that's how the futures market is different from this spot and we also have the zones markets i'll cover this in other tutorials but the normal market is the spot market where so you just come and buy your cryptocurrency keep it for a while if it increases to the price you want you sell it you come and buy again you can easily just make money quick money with the um spot market and you don't lose all your money at once like the futures market so the next is the trade interface so this is what the trade interface look like and what is the trade interface the trade interface is where you buy and you sell cryptocurrencies so we can see about five things at the top convert sports margin fiat and p2p so for convert you can convert your cryptocurrency you can convert from one cryptocurrency with another cryptocurrency without trading with anybody so i can convert btc to ethereum so um, i'm not sure i have much btc the btc i have here is 0 0.00005 well, um, I think the lowest you can convert is 0, 0.0. Okay, the max, the lowest you can convert is 0 0.0002 um, BTC. But um, if you have BTC and you want to convert to Ethereum or you want to convert BTC to something else, you just come and search what you want to convert your BTC to, and that is how um, the convert works. So I can convert BTC to BNB, and after that, I'll just click preview conversion and if i have enough i'll be able to convert so that's what convert does you don't need to trade with anybody so the next is spot and this is the most popular trading method where you come and buy a cryptocurrency against another so as you can see on my screen is um btc usdt you can change this by clicking on it 
so i'll just click and okay i want to trade pick from this list what i want to trade this is a, this is my favorite list you can pick from the um, bnb lists i'll just click on bnb you can click you can click from the fiat list so i'll just go back to my favorite list and let's say i want to trade dutch usdt so and i want to sell okay i don't have enough dutch here so i have decided to trade dutch usdt so i can either sell or buy because i don't have enough here i can't because i don't have enough here i can't sell i think i have 0 0.0811 dutch right now so i can't sell that the minimum you can sell is 10 dollars so um, i can come here and buy so i can decide to buy and i will now put okay the current price of dutch is 0 0.3494 okay it's changing there i can decide to buy i can say when dutch comes as low as 0 0.1000 i want to buy um 10 dutch so they will charge me one dollar for that they will charge me one usdt for that and if i want to buy 200 dutch they will charge me 20 for my you can see i have 227 dollars usdt in my account so if i decide that it has changed if i decide that when um dutch is the when the price of dutch is 0 0.10000 i want to buy 2000 dutch they will charge me 200 dollars for that so i can just click buy when i click buy you can see it has come down here so whenever dodge comes down to 0 0.100000 my trade will be executed and i'm going to now get 2000 um dodge so that's how that works so when the trade is executed and i guess the 2000 dodge I can now decide to now come and sell it so i'll now come back to sell let's say i now have 2000 dutch i'll now say okay when the price of dutch is zero point or when the price of dutch is so i can come and say when the price of dutch is up to one dollar i want to sell my 2000 dutch but i don't have up to that here so it won't work but i can say when the price is up to one dollar i want to sell my 2000 dutch and i'm going to make a whole lot of money because i bought that 2000 dodge at 0.1 dollar so if dodge rises to one dollar and i sell my 2000 dodge i'm going to make a whole lot of money so that's how trading works basically on binance so in the trades here we can also see open orders by the right we can see this thing looking like a page here if we click on it we'll see the open orders i don't currently have any open orders i've cancelled the order i opened here we can see order history so this is a list of all the orders i've made whether they were executed or not so this was the order i just made right now of the 2000 dutch you can see it was cancelled by the right um so the next is the order i did today which was failed it was successful i sold my btc for usdt you can see that what all the ones that are showing green are the trades that were executed the ones that are showing cancel that the trade that didn't go through so that's what you see in the open trades and in the trade history these are the list of trade all the trades that were executed that were successful as you can see as you can see the dodge trade that i did here that is in the other history is not in the trade history because it was not successful so this is a list of all the successful trades i have done that is what is in the trade history so um you can see this filter here this thing that is looking like a filter you can edit it and this thing that's looking like a calendar you can use it to um you can use it to set the dates for what you want to see so you can choose to see from a particular date to another date and this thing looking like a filter here you can use it to filter what you actually want to see so this is the filter so in the traits also you can see at the top is something looking like a candle after um after dodge usdt plus 14.6263 percent then the next thing you can see is something looking like a candle that is what we use to read the market so as you can see this is the trade view this is how usdt has been doing 
and i am on the hour trade you can go to 15 minutes you can go to four hours you can go to day trade so that is what we use to predict the market that's how you see how the market has been doing and where to enter and where to leave so um, i'll cover this in another tutorial i'm just showing you how the interface what the interface looks like and what everything means there so that's what you need to know for now about the trade next is the futures where you do the futures trading but um the futures trading like i said earlier is where you predict a price of a cryptocurrency and if it works you make money if it doesn't work you lose all your money so we'll try this later and the wallet here does shows the amount you have in your crypto wallet so as you can see my spot wallet i have 227 us dollars usdt so you can click spot wallet um, to show so this is what i have in my wallet to show all what you have in your wallet for nera i have 0, 0.00 so whatever whatever usdt you can see what i have ethereum this is what i have so this the wallet just shows all you have in your different crypto wallets so these are the crypto wallets that i have um, something inside i've clicked hide zero balance so all the wallets i don't have money inside you can't see them if i click on it to show to not hide zero balance you see all the crypto wallets i have and i don't have money inside so you can see all these are zero 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 click hide zero balance you won't see all the zero balances again so at the top you saw the overview so this is the overview of my wallet this is what i have in my spot wallet margin wallet i have nothing futures wallet i have nothing then you can come to peer to peer peer to peer wallet i have nothing inside so that is what um, the wallet is all about so this is what the interface of the binance mobile app looks like and the interface is not so different from the web view when you open it on web it's um, almost the same thing if you understand the mobile interface you understand the web interface so i'm sure this was helpful please give it a thumbs up if you have any question leave it in the comment section below i'll do well to answer all your questions so now you're able to use the binance interface so in the next tutorial i'm going to tell you how to trade peer-to-peer -peer on binance because in nigeria crypto has been banned cryptocurrencies have been banned and you can't use bank transfer so what you need to deposit money and start trading on binance you need to know how to use the peer-to-peer -peer because that's the only way you can get money into your wallet so in the next tutorial i'm going to show you how to trade peer-to-peer -peer on binance so subscribe so you won't miss any of our updates and we'll see you in the next video cheers